welcome to computer aided drafting class so now let us try to take this exercise number one today we already solved this one in the college today now i am making the video and putting uploading it on the youtube on my youtube channel you will find this video already done last time last time we did it in a different way and this time let us do it in a different way okay what i explained you in the class in the same way let me just do it here now here let us see this is your exercise number one from your handout so what does this consist of this consists of circles here three circles okay each circle is of diameter how much 12 millimeters and then you have another circle over here the bigger one this bigger circle let me write the radius the radius of this circle is r10 okay so now you have got three circles see here three holes are there and uh, three arcs are there you have tangent lines and then you have another arc which is tangent to this circle as well as this circle fine so what i will do now the method is what i explained to you in the class same way i will just do it to upload it on the youtube so what did we do we went to draw command okay first and foremost we went to draw center and radius let this picture be here only okay let me do it here so that you can simultaneously see both the drawings now let me just go here select a point now i will just go here now my dynamic zoom is on here see dynamic input is on that's why you can see some number is changing there okay and it is on here you can see dynamic input is on so now what is the radius <coughs> i have selected radius yes 10 enter so i have this now i will just go down and select center diameter how do i do it i have switched on my o snap you have to see this should be blue color and then the center is ticked this is running o snap now the moment i come close to the circle you see a plus point here i'll just go click here and what is the diameter diameter is 12 okay 12 and enter now see i finished this work now what can i do what i will do is i will just copy this one towards the right side and copy this one down okay now how do i copy it you go to modify command in the modify command right here you can see there is a copy icon i will take this icon okay i will click on this the moment i click on this my cursor changed the shape it became a small square and what it is telling it is telling me select objects i will just go click on this click on this one and i will say enter now the moment i say enter again my cursor shape change now what i see in the dynamic input it is telling me specify base point that is what it says in the command line also what is the base point for pulling i will select this center of the circle okay and then i will move like this how much distance 75 see i will type 75 enter again i will go down and i will type how much 70 i will enter okay now again i will escape enough now i have already created two symmetrical circles with a distance of how much let me go to the dimensions and i will show you here see between this point and this point how much is this this is 75 okay <clears throat> now what do i need now do i need this circle here no i need it exactly in the middle okay so what i will do i will make use of move command see here move command is also right up here move and copy they work on similar principle i will select move the moment i select move see my dynamic input is saying select objects i can just go click and do window selection like this enter now it is asking me what specify base point even here and here i will just select here i will come like this move this side how much i need to move half of 75 how much is that one that is 37.5 enter now see i have moved it towards this side so my all these three are ready now now what do i need now i need to draw a line here i need to draw a line here tangent okay i will just go select tangent line of course from where do i go it is catching me in the center see here because in o snap i have center let me remove center and put tangent okay now come here see there is a symbol click here come and click here okay 
enter again you can press space bar the moment you press space bar you are already into the previous command click here click here enter so now i have already drawn two lines which are tangent to these outer circles almost 75 percent of my work is over now what i need to do now i need to draw a arc here so what i will do i will go to this circle command i will open it now you can see here i have tangent tangent radius i will select this one if i select this i will come tangent see i will take tangent i am purposefully making a mistake to show you i will take tangent for the second circle tangent i will write radius as how much the money in so it go in the opposite direction is it not so i will make undo i will do it again properly select circle circle radius tangent tangent radius tangent to this one and tangent to this one keep your cursor here and put 80 as your it is taking the other way around again let me just go here and let me redo it i will keep it here and i will type 80 see here now i got it so what do i need now i need to remove whatever is unwanted i don't know now want this portion this is not needed this is not needed I am in AutoCAD 2021, you can see here, in 2021, you have some improvements. See, there is a trim command in the modify panel of our ribbon. I will take trim command. I will just come and keep here. The moment I keep here, it will just delete it. It has taken this as the boundary and this as the boundary. It has deleted. Still, I am in the command itself. Just go click here. Click here. And click here. Okay, you are out. In college we have 2018 in that case in college we have to take a boundary select a boundary and then you have to do the trimming <coughs> so our job is done now so what is the next job my next job is to draw this hexagon sudasi okay now how to draw a sudasi we have got videos in my youtube channel you can just go and check there but uh, this one uh, in drawing you have got polygon in polygon you will see there are two types of uh, polygons you can draw inscribed and circumscribed okay if you see that video it may be around five six minutes you will understand very clearly how it works now let me just go type on this polygon on screen sometimes it may be like this okay you may be seeing square just open this arrow you will see polygon click on the polygon now here how many sides it is showing it is showing six I will again type 6 enter now it is asking me specify center of the polygon where is the center see here it is 12 millimeter down from this horizontal line and exactly in the middle so now what shall I do now I will use another command as which is called as temporary tracking T K I will type T K enter now it is asking me first tracking point just go here select first tracking point i want to select the center just go here in o snap click on center now come here it will catch on the center now come like this how much 37.5 enter now come down come down come down like this come down like this how much is this distance 12 enter again enter you are out of the command now so what do you want you want to inscribe the polygon because the distance given here is between the corners when it is between the corners it is i see here now what is the radius now the radius is 12 because from corner to corner he says 24 half of it is 12 enter see your complete work is done you have finished your drawing now let us just go put radius here what is the radius here see 80 again press the space bar again it will catch the command see i got it again press the space bar just go here what do i need i need for this one just click on this see here it is giving me radius but i want diameter so i will just escape go back select diameter select this one see here it is showing me 512 now go to linear dimension of course we will do some videos for dimensioning and notations later but for the time being i am using it here to show you depending upon the paper scaling sometimes you may see the dimensions and sometimes you may not see the dimension 
don't worry about it so i have it now you see i have done everything 75 70 radius is 80 10 12 24 so what are the commands we used here i will just type it out here so that you can see it for yourself what are the commands we used we used these commands don't worry about all my typing business here because the annotation we will learn later right now i just want to show you that's why i am typing it okay now what did we use we use line then we used what we used circle then we used ortho in the bottom then we used what else dynamic input okay let me make it a little big so that it goes there then what else we used we used r o snap which is present here in the bottom or o snap if you open it you have so many other things there inside that after this what are the other things we used we used move then we used copy and did we use any other thing let me just go back to home and check did we use any other thing yeah trim command okay and then we made use of trim command and of course we use dimension i will not write it okay this ortho is capital where is this ortho ortho is here in the bottom this ortho will make you to move either horizontal or vertical only is this clear now i will just remove it now see these are the different commands which we used to create this drawing okay thank you very much for watching this video